Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for the FRM CFA exam. We have with us one of our uh, student who has been able to clear the FRM level 2 in the November 2022 exam. She cleared the May 2022 for FRM level 1. And then she went for the exam for level 2 in a very short period of time. So we want to understand what happened with the, with the preparation. How was the preparation done? And what was the interesting journey behind clearing the level 2 in a very short period of time? So we have with us uh, Kushbu. Kushbu, thank you very much for joining in. Hello, sir. And this is your second interview with us. First level one ke baad you gave the interview. Now, yes. when so the result for level one came in July. So what happened after that? Yeah, July 31st. So I after I gave my level one exam and I got cleared. So I was not very sure whether to give level two exam in the same year or you know to appear in next year. So even I was discussing this with you also said that I want to take classes. So what should I do? And you suggested me to take classes for May exam because you will have an ample of time to prepare and everything. But I don't know, sir, with every each passing day, I was feeling like I, I'm kind of wasting my days because I have time and I think I can, you know, if I can stretch myself, I can clear this in November also. So okay. maybe kind of I convinced you and then you said, okay, it's okay. If you don't want to waste your time, then you have to prepare a lot. You have to put a lot of efforts, but I think you can. So, then and I took your you were, do, you were also day. working. You were also working at that point. I was working, sir. And how much time you had on a daily basis? So, I was kind of having two hours, you know, just to have a personal time also. Two hours, I was kind of managing that time. Okay. And when did you start your preparation for level two? Which month or which date? Mid-August, August end, from August and I started preparing. Okay, okay. And then what was your approach for the preparation? So initially, it was your approach only because you suggested me to start with MR, market risk. So, and then you said, start taking lectures of MR and read OR on daily basis like a novel. So it was very new to me. Then I started reading OR without lectures, obviously. And market as I was taking a lecture on a daily basis, one lecture each day. Uh, that's how I completed MR. I think in between September, I complete. I was done with MR. Then okay. you said to start preparing port with it, that portfolio management. That Investment book. management. Investment management, yes. So... I started reading that book. It was kind of interesting. And I think uh, it was great of you to suggest me not to start with credit risk and liquidity risk at that point of time because I uh, completed that book by end of September. So it kind of gave me the confidence that hmm. I have already cleared my two books now. So I can manage now. So, okay. yes. Yeah, and side by know, side, you were also reading these operation risk book by default. Operational risk book, yes. Okay, and you completed market risk and investment management risk videos plus reading of suggestion. By, yeah. Okay, then what happened? So by by September and I was done with two books. OR was still in between. I didn't finish that off. Then I started with liquidity risk. By mid of October, I completed it. Then you suggested me to start with credit risk because now I don't have much time to prepare. So I started with credit risk by October and I completed it and I also started giving exam, exam uh, that test series, which it is there on your app. Chapter wise, chapter so wise I start, question. Chapter wise, yes. Chapter wise. Okay. So obviously I started credit risk in the end. So I was kind of prepared that, you know, I don't have too much do, uh, I don't have to do a lot of revision for credit risk because I have already you know, the, uh, reading this book in the end. Right. So it helped me because it is an important book and I don't I don't need to get into so much of it in the end. And okay. I also took leave for one week only. So clearly wow. I didn't have much time <laughs> to revise. <laughs> so, uh, so what was your uh, confidence level or what was the mindset when you started? Okay. Uh, and when you mm. completed two books, when you completed... Risk. What was the mindset? So mindset was clear that uh, because 
it it was something i was very uh, you know i was trying for the first time that to give an exam in like two or three months span period but then again i am a ca and i'm used to attempts and i was like i have to give it anyways and uh, so when i was reading the books the main objective was to understand things it's okay if i delay something i can stretch myself but when i am reading something i have to you know be confident on the concepts which i am reading so okay. so that is the thing because i might have delayed a lot of things but i didn't rush through things got it got i didn't it. compromise then, on the understanding part okay and how, you were able to solve the question bank of all the chapters ke you were able only for a few books so clearly sir i didn't have much time so i uh, changed my approach a little bit i i went for the important chapters first mm-hmm. uh, like i gave exams for or also but for the significant chapters which i felt key it is important for me credit also same approach not for okay. all chapters but for the chapters i felt that it is important the concepts are you know great so i need mm-hmm. to you know check myself on so for the, those chapters only Okay, perfect. And how many mock papers you solved? So again, this is like FRM level. <laughs> Same question. I didn't. You didn't solve. Okay. No, okay. Were okay. well, you worried that ke ek bhi mock nahi hua? Kuch tension tha? <clears throat> no, sir. I didn't do it in FRM level one. Okay. Take it. Now, when you went for the exam, okay, till that time before you went for the exam, how much? How much reading was completed for Swaja? Hmm. How much reading before exam? I was through all the course. No, no, only one reading, or was it more than that? Um, uh, I think two times reading was done for all the books. Okay, okay, and, and I might have left some chapters for OR. That was a mistake, and that I would not recommend to anybody. But okay. Yeah. But those chapter you have not even read anything. No sir, and uh, the funny part is I got one quantile in OR. <laughs> that that is that is a normal uh, trend that we see. People who read, especially OR and current issues, if they if you are very heavy reading that book, mm-hmm. you might not get a good good quote. And I don't know why. Why is it happening? And people are confident mm-hmm. and they give their best shot. Mm-hmm. Like the number of chapters are huge in OR. I don't know why, but the book is huge. I I remember when I I think I was talking to you, sir. My OR is still not completed, and I I think I won't be able to do it. What strategy should I you know apply now? We were mm-hmm. like, read it, be patient, read it on everyday basis. I think that will be done. Don't take tension of OR. Read other books also. Like, ah, okay, okay. Right. So then right. I. Because I was I was in very much panic about over. Okay, and then uh, you went for the exam. What happened in that first one hour of the exam? First one hour. So I already had an experience of you know level one exam that I kind of you know doing the questions on not in with a good good speed. So that time I this time I wanted to make sure that I am not wasting any of my time, and I was prepared mm-hmm. that in. my first hour of exam i have to complete these questions and luckily uh, th- in this exam also most of the questions were theoretical so okay kind of helped me so y- you were able to solve everything in that four hour 80 questions properly there is no issue with that ha yes sir okay obviously you number fi- of number of questions are less as compared to level 1 80 But questions w- with respect to the complexity was it slightly higher complexity obviously sir it is like theoretical questions were there so complexity was there okay and then uh, with respect to that 80 question which book while you were while you were solving the exam which you book you felt carry this is getting tough or you are not able to solve more questions on that book so i would say credit risk because um, i kind of studied that book in the end and i was very much confident about credit risk but then i was not happy with the kind of questions it was there for creditors in the exam so okay. that was that was something i was disappointed about that i didn't do good in creditors so okay okay and overall when you 
gave the exam, you came out, what was the number in your mind that I would get this much correct out of 80? So I was not sure about credit risk and uh, obviously OR I had some doubt because the chapters which I didn't read, obviously there were questions out of that. So I was hoping that maybe OR and credit risk would, you know, bring my overall quantile down maybe. So kind of, it's, it was kind of a 50-50 situation at that point of time. Okay. And then uh, when you started out, uh, when you uh, looked at the result, what was the result caught I? You have shared that on WhatsApp with me. So one mm. second. Uh, it's 231332. Three, so basically, yes. book market risk it was very good, two quartile. Operation risk again mm. was first quartile. And then again, current issues was second quartile. The rest, everything is three. So liquidity, credit, and investment. Okay, it's because you did investment very mm. well, no? so did you felt that ki utna kam aayega? Yeah, anything specific? Maybe because investment, do? investment book is, I think, it's a very good book. I think everybody must have scored well in that. So, might be that Achha. that can be a reason. Okay. Because I think the same happened with me with uh, port, port that uh, financial market also in level one. Hmm. So you got less quarter in level one. I didn't score. Huh. Yes. Okay. Now, when uh, if I ask you three tips uh, on how to prepare for level two, what would be that three tips from your own experience? So I would say uh, time is not a constraint. If you you know be if you are reading all the books on daily basis, revising it, and uh, if you have a strategy in mind, that would be helpful. So first of all, you need to have a strategy, like how you are going to complete it. Right. Once it is ready, you can be through it. Then second, obviously, um, I would say, you know, be patient with what you are reading. Hmm. Don't be panicked just because you feel that this is this book is not, it's not, you know, it's not my cup of tea and I don't think so that I'll be able to clear it out. So be patient. You will clear it. Just focus on your reading and be sure of yourself that you'll do it. And third, obviously, listen to your teacher. I think that's important. <laughs> Whenever you okay. feel you are in danger, you have to call sir and ask for the tips. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So now what has been the reaction of people uh, around you uh, clearing both the levels in one year? So what reaction is so, okay. So I have a mix of reactions. Like people are people are like that you are the one who was sitting in office till eight and you have cleared in one year. Is that exam easy or how are you doing it? Like these kind of reactions okay. I am getting. And then there are people who didn't clear FRM level one exam also. They are like Ki, it is not easy exam. How how are you able to crack it? And that too in one year. Yeah. In one year, I think that's that's some kind of impression I have made on everybody that I have cleared both the exams in one year. Yeah, right, right. Because it's not an easy task to do it, obviously, along with a full-time job. And especially clearing level two in around two and a half month, three month preparation is not a joke. There's like almost 99 chapters. You have to watch the video, read the content, solve the question bank. So definitely you need strategy. You need, there'll be a lot of ups and downs in your preparation. So, wonderful. I mean, I'm very happy on your preparation and definitely this uh, certification will add value to your career. And this journey that you talked about is something which is going to be very helpful for a lot of other students who are preparing. And one thing that you mentioned, ke, because you're a CA, you've uh, got used to attempts. So, <laughs> wo ek, uh, point hai ke, you're not afraid of failure. I think so. Now I'm not. Ha, that is, I think, so very good part which CA teaches you. You have raw matlab, nahi wa, go for the next one. Give the best shot. Aisa. So that helped you over here. A lot of people so one would more not... Thing, ha. Ha. So there's yeah. one more thing. So time is not a constraint, I would say, because uh, we also have four months to clear an attempt. So if, you're, if you are very sure of yourself, I think you should go for it. You right. just have to believe in yourself. And you also yeah, have that 
Yeah. Consistency. Yes, consistency makes a very big difference. And we also change that order. Now we said uh, we'll go for operation risk only reading. We have not seen the mm. you have not seen the video for operation risk. So that for some and you got good quarter. Ha, but good quarter ah, operation that... risk. <laughs> so yes, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. I'm very happy, and this interview is going to be very helpful for a lot of other students who are preparing for the exam, and they will also get motivated to clear the exam in the first time. Thank you very much for your I... time.